One, two, three, one. Welcome everybody today to Mom and Dad Talks, where our favorite two people are Mom and Dad, and they're somewhere doing some, I guess, house stuff with people right now. But we have our favorite person, Hanty. How you doing, Hanty? Hey! And we have a very special guest, someone very dear to me. His name is Bradley Noddy. And uh, Mr. Noddy, um, he's an actor. If you haven't seen him yet, go out there and see the movie, I Want to Dance with Somebody. He's also in some other things. We'll talk about that soon and stuff like that. But, but now that you're on our show, a lot of people go out to Hollywood and they, they try to get in. You've been in several places. If you have any advice for anybody that's going into this, this room and going out to Hollywood, what advice would you give them? Uh, I would definitely say uh, know yourself. And, uh, you know, just to yourself know that you can do it and don't listen to anybody tell you you can't. Be true to yourself and keep going. You know, and so, so the, it's saying that Brad, um, can't call you Brad, sir. Is that right? Absolutely. <laughs> Just to make sure, to make sure. Um, you know, you, you actually started off as a dancer, mm-hmm. right? How did you transition into acting? Can you tell people that? I mean, because like I said, dancing, and acting, they're similar, but you know, how did you do that? Well, um, I think I've just had the love of just entertaining, right? So, I started dancing, that kind of what I did to entertain people, and it was fun. And the movie was dope. But then um, I found it better. Like, I'm, I'm more of a speaker, I'm more of a talker, and, and there's other ways to kind of convey uh, your art uh, and move people just with the movement. So, uh, you know, I kind of jumped into it. Obviously, I started with theater. So uh, theater, you're able to move to your body. So I was like, man, I can use my body and tell a story. And then uh, it just went out from there. And then now, now I'm doing television and film. Uh, yeah, see, that, folks, he's being real humble right now. I mean, Bradley, you know, like I said, man, I'm so proud of you because, like I said, we started off together and he just blew right past me. So <laughs> what are we talking about here? Uh, and basically, you know, when you got on your first your first movie, you actually inter- you got me in a movie because of you called Employee of the Year. Uh, that first time was that your first time in in a movie set being the main character. How was that, sir? Uh, the experience was nice. Uh, Charles Farmer and Kalisa Farmer, very nice. Um, and rewarded me the role, and um, I, I I love my experience there. From like CC, her daughter, uh, to Olivia and Jeanette, that. that uh, it was like a family base. We rehearsed together, we ate together, discussed characteristic choices together, and character journeys, and all that stuff. We did it all together. And I felt like, you know, from all the cast, like, man, this is one big family. So one person does something, the other person does something. Very much of a team, a team effort. So I felt, I kind of felt like it was smooth. Mm-hmm. And, and now you've been in several yeah. movies before. I wanted to, we'll get to. I wanted to ask because my aunt wants to ask you some questions here. So, <laughs> so and the other things you played in the roles that you played in. Um, can you tell us some about that and how it is auditioning and stuff? And and how do you how do you how do you keep yourself grounded? Yeah, yeah you know, I think uh, what humbles you is the um, amount of auditions uh, you do. Because uh, to the world, everybody sees the yeses, but you guys don't see them. Also, you, you see the yeses that we both get saying yes to, you don't see those that we say no to. But um, you kind of uh, have to pick and shoot. Like, do I want to do this job because I have not worked in a while? Mm. Or do I want to do this job because it fulfills my, my inner need? You know? mm. I feel like um, uh, oftentimes you, you battle that because it's like, oh, I, have, I have not gotten a gig in a minute. I can just do this job over here that they're just kind of handing me because you know pay my bills or whatever. But if I save and hold off on that, I can actually do something that I actually agree and want to do. So I think uh, staying humble is just um, understanding your purpose. Mm-hmm. That's what it's and and so you know, there's a lot of things we both had the same um, acting coach, um, and you know, and, and you got me introduced to acting coaches. Literally, because I was looking for for Swayla's cousin Aubrey to do something. I said, I know he was a dancer and he could have hooked her up. And he said, Oh, try this acting coach over here. What is acting coaches? And, and do you still have one? Do for you? does it increase? Does it help you? Ex- ex- tell tell our audience that. Absolutely. And uh, as you, you speak of Marlon Hunter, one of my first teacher, he was really really good, humble, down to earth. I know he he 
he taught at, at, at AMDA out here in LA. Um, but the coaches, and I've had many teachers taking many classes and I've been to many schools. And um, yeah, I think what, uh, what you get from them is they, get you, they give you another point of view, right? Because just if you think about it, like, um, well, the story that I'm, uh, I'm I'm saying to you guys could be read off completely different to many different people. So it's just another person to say, hey, maybe you started like this, or maybe you came in like this. And now we have two minds, which is better than one, to, to orchestrate a scene and their choice. Uh, I, I just take it as um, tools. Mm -hmm. I might have a wrench. Both can work, depending on what I'm fixing. But it's nice to have something in case one doesn't work that day. In case that hammer broke. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's right here. I can still tap with a wrench. So it's just uh, new, new toys to play with. New toys to play with. Well, you know, I know everybody wants to get down to nitty gritty. How was it playing in a, in a movie of a of an iconic person? And everybody says it's a real good movie. I hadn't had a chance to see it yet. Plan on doing it, especially seeing my friend. Got to support my bro. Um, you know, how is it working an iconic movie uh, that captures so many people? I mean, before we get to that part, you've actually worked with some people. How is it working with some of the famous people that you saw acting growing up and working with alongside them? Um, I think that once you start, it was to answer your question. It was, you know, I think it's all it's always nice to like work with people you look up to, and you're like, man, like I, I wanted to be here one day, and now I'm here. And but at the same time, it's the work is the work is the work. That's what we we say at Identity Drama School. It's like I'm here to work, and uh, we're we're here working together now. So when you don't understand you're working, that's what you that's what you uh. You, you you strive for to be able to work with the greats, to work with the best, and and and, uh, and build something t for the rest of the world to look at, and and you know, have people in awe. So yeah, uh, the the moments that I've made on set, the friends I've made, the people I've worked with, uh, the experience that I've, I've gained is a blessing. It's a true mm -hmm. blessing. So now we're going to get to, 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 to playing in this movie. And what did it mean to play in a movie with such an iconic person, knowing that it's a biopic? How was that? How did you feel about that being in something like this and being a part of it? So uh, we're going to be honest here. <laughs> um, so uh, when I got the role, I said, OK, this is the, this is the job I'm going to do. Cool. I'll be I'll be there. The technical technical things kind of came into my into my path of like, okay, this is just a job. I have to do this job, right? So initially I went there to do that, just the job. And um, I remember uh, Vaughn, uh, uh, Vaughn, which is an assist, um, Casey Lemons, Casey Lemons directed the film. I met Casey and I was excited to meet her and Ashton Sanders who played Bobby and, and Naomi Aki who played Whitney. And, oh, this is, this is nice, it's cool. But everything kind of just was kind of the same as far as like, the experience I've already had and such, but it wasn't until um, they were like, okay, Bradley's wrapped, and I turn around, um, and like 50 people, like, oh, like 50 people are clapping down. You could go on with the names, the actors in the scene, the producers, directors, like everybody, and people holding the gap, everybody like helping the scene, which uh, gave me this nice um, euphoric shock of like, man, this. You, you did something here. It's a lot of love in this room, and something like like Whitney Houston, which quite Frank, the world loves. Mm -hmm. You you it kind of makes you feel like you you did something. Like there's a lot of jobs that I've done that I'm like, oh my god, I did something there. Like artistically, I did I've done right, but for this one, it was more so of the feeling that you took part of bringing uh, Whitney Houston's life and in, in, into fruition for everybody to see. You know, you you were a piece of that puzzle, uh, and that we all unselfishly told about somebody else. Because at the end of the day, it is about Whitney, mm -hmm. uh, and and I'm pretty sure that her family is in love with it, and, and that she's looking from up there, like, you guys really did this for me, you know? Because that's that maybe that's how I would feel, you mm -hmm. know. You guys really did this for me. That's alone, amazing. So it, it, it's a really really good feeling. 
Well, you know, like I said, before we before we go, because like I said, Brad, I mean, you're my man, man. We I've been knowing you for a long time, and I'm so proud of you. I want people to go out there and watch. My next thing is here um, is this. Han, did you have any questions before we we turn we 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 leave here for our, for our special guest, Bradley? Excuse me. Um, I I don't know. I don't, I mean, I'm enjoying I'm enjoying his his leisure talk. Uh, he, he he doesn't. He doesn't talk like uh, I'm talking to Kevin Costner or anybody like that, but he he's uh, making it homey. He's making it, um, uh, you know, it makes me feel like he is my homie. And this is the first time that I that I have I have met him. First time that I have have even heard of him. But uh, uh, I was thinking while he was talking, he was giving heartfelt himself and that and that's if you're not in church that's that's hard to do <laughs> but he but he does it so well and he makes me feel more more comfortable he doesn't need my little ignorant question to <laughs> to 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 um uh, make him or, or allow mm -hmm. allow him uh to be himself and i think i don't know that's that's a lot of lot of acting Mm -hmm. um uh, is is what acting is made up of mm -hmm. being yourself in your part mm -hmm. that you have been assigned and uh, without having seen um i want to dance with somebody i, I have mm -hmm. not seen it uh, but i i there's several things going for mm -hmm. me on that i like the song i like i like dancing even though i can't dance <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Brad I, can help you out. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I'm I'm just I'm just enjoying him. It's um, it's almost like 15 minutes is not a, a, enough. He needs to be um, on a stage where I can clap my hands, you know, or uh, any of that. And um, I I just wanted to say that I am in, I am enjoying this segment. Mm, oh, thank you, Hanty. Like I said, man, you dropped the mic today, man. It's, it's very hard to do with my family. And like I said, Bradley, man, we wish you well in all your endeavors. And like I said, hope we will cross paths again at some point, Brad, and act together again. You know, uh, but oh, yes, but, but I, I, I would like to I would like to see it. How, how can I how can I see it? Maybe others would be interested in knowing how they can see. I want to dance with somebody. Well, Go to the theaters. Um, it's it, oh, it had, is in the theaters. Yeah, we had the world premiere uh, for the states December twenty first. I know in Switzerland it was uh, actually no, I, I I'm, I'm incorrect on that one. We had the world release on the twenty third. I could be wrong about the dates, mm -hmm. but it's out now. It, it does okay. okay. In the world. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So last week was with the world premiere where they distributed the movie across the world from like uh, Switzerland and Europe and around the world. Um, so everybody can see it. It's in the theaters. Uh, check it out and support it in Houston. I want to dance with somebody. Okay. Well, there you have it, folks. There you have it right there. Hope you go out there and support it. Um, like I said, Bradley, thank you so much for being on our, our show. You know, you're much bigger than our show. Thank you for coming on. I, I just really appreciate you, Brad. And um, like I said, man, we're going to be doing more stuff in the future. And, uh, you know, wish you all well. Until next time, we'll see you on Mom and Dad Talks. All right. Thank you guys for having me.